Hi everyone, look at oh god, look at the state of me. If you can hear me because it's really windy. So I'm going into Manchester, as I've already told you, and I'm going to see um, Peter Pan with Jason Mountford uh, as Captain America, I think he's playing. Well, he's obviously not playing Peter Pan, that would be a bit weird. Yeah, now Panto's not usually something I go and do on my own. But they reduced all of the single seats to £13, so um, I'm going to go see that today and I'll bring you along with me. It's 10 o'clock and my train's at 11, so I've got an hour to kill. Yeah, so, so I'm going to go and grab my breakfast and I'll speak to you all. So I've just arrived <clears throat> in Manchester. It's raining. The train was delayed about half an hour, so I'm a bit not late, but I'm here later than I wanted to be. So I'm just gonna go straight into the theatre now and then we'll have a look at the merch and we'll get programmed and all that stuff and then yeah. I was gonna get something to eat but I'll just like get something in the theatre. Right, anyway, turn if you can hear me, so I'm just going to go now because I've got to find the theatre and I think it might involve Google Maps because I don't know where I'm going. Um, yeah. It's horrible weather. Oh, the theatre is right there. I've got her in the end, it took me ages. Going off in all different directions. Um, but yeah, I'm here. And the queue is massive to get in. So, I'm going to go and join it. And hopefully, it doesn't take me too long to get in. Because I want to, like, get a program and stuff. Yeah.
it's time for the review section of the video. Um, now it is a pantomime, so I am I'm not going to criticize it too much. This isn't the story of Peter Pan that um, is written by J. M. Barry. It's not the usual Peter Pan story. It's um, very different. It's like sort of like a Peter Pan two in a way. Uh, so it picks up right after Wendy has just got back from Neverland. And she's gone back because Peter can't fly, so she's gone to help get that sorted out. Or the pigs to dust is is um, is gone and they've got to get it back and in the show they find out that captain hook is still alive and he wants the pixie dust for himself now i would say no spoilers but it is a panto so you know i don't think i need to say that so my seat for this show was 13 pounds they reduced all of the seats single seats 13 pounds so i thought i'd just go see it they're not paying much money and um, I'm sure it'll be good fun. And it was, it was really good fun. Um, yeah, I went to a one o'clock show, so an early matinee, and it was great atmosphere. Um, it was packed. Um, now, I've I haven't been to the Opera House before, and I was actually surprised by how small it is. And like, I knew it was quite a small cram theatre, like a West End one. And there's lots of narrow corridors to get into the auditorium, like there are with West End Theatre. Look the amount of bars. There were so many bars in that theatre. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the stars of the show were Jason Manford. I called it Jason Mountford, <laughs> didn't I? Jason Manford and Ben Nicholas, as you can see. Um, even though a lot of people go to the pantos just to see these people and to get the audience participation well i still want to see the story i think that they kind of went away from the story for a long time uh in the first and second act there was a period in the first act where it literally was just stand up from jason manfred and ben nicholas and then there was another bit in the second act that was the same um so you didn't really get much of the peter pan story i actually think peter pan was hardly in it i don't think a lot of people in there would have complained about that because they were probably there for Jason Manford and not the story of Peter Pan but when I go see a panto I like to have the story as well as the audience participation and the jokes and everything and also they kept calling Jason Manford Jason instead of Captain Hook as a joke it was like it was like a running thing throughout the show and I was like it's like they want to constantly remind us that they've got Jason Manford in in, in the panto right so we have we have Jessica Kroll and Samara Castillo. These are actually um, West End performers. Um, I saw Jessica Kroll uh, in Hairspray and um, I don't know what she's been in. Um, let me have a look. Oh, she's in the, she was in the Goldilocks and Three Bears at the London Palladium. She was um, cover Mrs. Wormwood and Mrs. Phillips in the Matilda UK tour. Oh, she's been in a lot. She was in Hairspray and Leicester. She was in Tina Turner, the musical. Yeah, she's been in a lot of stuff, but Jessica Crow, I remember, because she was in Hairspray. And I saw that in September last year. Ross Carpenter as um, Peter Pan. And then we've got the Acromaniacs as the Lost Boys. These were only in it for five minutes. They did some like acrobat stuff. The audience loved it, but I didn't find it that impressive. That's my review of the Pantomime Adventures of Peter Pan and my first theatre vlog for like over a year. But yes, we've got some good shows coming up. I've got Dream Girls next week and there's lots of other stuff coming up after that. I'll also try and get some film reviews for you all as well. I'm still going to the cinema regularly. That's still a thing I do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and make more videos and reaction videos as well is something that I want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like the video. Follow me and Sam on Instagram at Carl Stop Doing Sam underscore sixteen and I'll see you all in the next one.